We're gonna make these beauties today and I'm gonna show you how. We're gonna use paper, model magic clay, and glue and scissors. I didn't have a large piece of green paper to show you how to cut at home. So I'm gonna use this black paper and it's gonna work the same way. Take your scissors and you're gonna make long cuts from the bottom of the paper all the way to the top. And cut out three stems. And with the other side of the paper, you're gonna cut out leaves. You can either cut the shape or draw it first. And I would fold the paper when I cut out the leaf shape. That way you'll get at least two sh leaves the same shape. And just cut out that football looking shape for leaves. So I do have these green stems, which I'm gonna glue down. And you can make them different lengths, but make sure you leave room on the top for the flowers. So I'm going to turn over, use little dots of glue so the glue doesn't ooze out and get all over and look messy. So this one's going to be about that high. Now I have room on top for my flower. Any extra on the bottom, I just trim it off. And now I can make leaf shapes with these. So I'm going to just make that football shape. A few dots of glue. Of course, I can draw it first and then cut. It. So I cut out two at the same time. And put them on. If I see that pencil mark or the pen mark, I put the glue on that side so that when I flip it over, I don't see where I drew that line. Okay. Now you're going to get um, a packet of Model Magic Clay. And you're gonna divide it into three, somewhat even pieces, and make three different flowers. I'm gonna show you three different ways to make a flower. They all start by rolling into a ball, pressing into a circle. You wanna keep it fat, not too skinny. And I'm gonna pinch the size to make my first flower. one flower and I can put it on top and press in the middle. For my next flower, roll it into a ball, press it into a circle, and I'm going to put my thumb and then use my thumb to make the petals around the center. And for my last flower, roll, pinch some off. I'll show you why in a minute. Roll it into a ball, press it into a circle, and then make the petals. So I'm gonna just roll these little coils and make them go around the center part. I have three different flowers. Now if I had planned better, I could make them different heights. This one could be the shortest one. This one could be the tallest. And this one could be in between. It makes it a little more interesting. And I would go ahead and add more leaves. I just didn't have a lot of paper at home to show you. So we're 
we're going to be mixing colors next week using our primaries and coloring our flowers with secondary colors.